So first things first, the, the thing I sent her would not be in a big box, just to let you know. It's gonna be small, little little envelope package. Um, it's a box. And, says, and I thought she said no more food, huh? It's empirical food, so I don't really know if it's... Imperfect? Did she just say empirical? Hello, beautiful people, it's Mama Goo. So our girl just posted, so let's see what she's got to say. Um, just looking at the title, it looks like we might have a relationship update, which is good for me because I'd like to drop a little bit more hints, if you know what I mean. So um, anyways, without further ado, let's get this party started. Quickly. Okay, so this title looks like fun. Big grocery haul, jealousy in my relationship, and bad allergic reactions. So I can't wait to see what this is. It's only 14 minutes, so I'm not going to speed it up. And listen, I watch everything on regular speed. I never speed stuff up. The only reason why I speed it up in her instance is because um, these videos tend to be long. And I am quite certain you all have watched thousands of rea thousands like a handful of other reaction channels that also play the whole video. So I don't think you're missing much if we speed it up. I just, you know, if, if you're like me and I'm a reaction channel watcher too, I watch it to get the person's reacting their response. I want to see like Zachary Michaels will have a different um, take than Alex is shook. We'll have a different take than um, kicking geese. We'll have a different take than narc alert. Those are the main ones that I'm watching at the moment. So, um, you know, I hope you watch me too in your your run of people you watch. So, but this time, long story short, we're not going to speed it up. Fun era because I've been wearing my hair in like a ponytail for days now. Yeah, somebody mentioned, and I agree. Look how thin her hair got. Aw, the stringy, you know, ponytail moment. <laughs> got it. It'll it'll save so much which is fine you know Whatever. embrace the pony this is how i wore my hair every day in college it was like this high i'm, I'm imagining her on campus you know bustling to her next class somehow i just don't feel like that's what it was like i'm sure it was in person but are you on a grande situation and that was before Ariana Grande was even a thing. You know what I'm saying? So hello, hello, though. It's hard to even... She was still on Nickelodeon playing with Sam and Cat. Guys, uh, today, I'm just putting in some earrings. Oh my god, I love these earrings with this dress in particular. Okay. You and do you, boo. Pockets. <laughs> Yay, pocket. We love a dress that has pockets. Don't we, queen and kings? Yes, we do. But hello, welcome to a new vlog. What about the pages? Okay, you guys. So in yesterday's video, or nights, a subscriber sent me this, which is beautiful. Beautiful, I love it. Uh, that is quartz tree. I would, I would have. So Feline helped me and untangled her because obviously she comes a little tangled, which is okay. But I wanted to. I'm gonna move this wax mount because we don't really use it. I would personally. I don't know. I feel like those need some moonlight. I don't know why. And that's going to be her little home. Okay. For now. Look how cute. So thank you to the person who sent that. Y'all, I promise I'm not that much of a messy eater. Again with the boob shot. My poor dress. So I'm watching the new episode of Grey's Anatomy. Why don't you change? You've got a million things to change into. Just, you know. Oh, my girl. Next thing you know, I look down. And my shirt said... You know what? I was hungry. Now I have to change my dress. Does yeah. that happen to anyone else? Like, no. Your boobs. No, nobody else here ever spills anything on their clothes. Ever. It's just you. Get hungry. Your clothing gets hungry. It's like, girl, if I wanted to share, I would share. Okay? She works so hard at being relatable. Oh, I think I'm going to wear this in right here. It's been a minute. Am I? Let's see if she locks her cat in by accident. In my opinion, this dress, it's a little iconic. Does anyone want to buy it for $1,000? Oh, that's the tree dress. <laughs> I'm about to put it on. 
I think she's such a cute dress. She's just a little triggering. Oh my God, I got to find that. I got to find it. Because let me tell you, that is freaking tight on her. Little trauma based. Yep, there it is. Why is that trauma? Those were like the best days of her life. Like literally. Don't tell me she's happier now than she was back then. Living with all those people, having all that fresh air, being able to go outside with her dog, you know, without a leash. Because they, I think they lived in the middle of nowhere. You're telling me that this is traumatic? Because don't tell me she was bed bound for this year because that's a lie. She's more bed bound now. My breathing is really bad today. <sighs> It's true. It's, yeah. Yeah, that is pretty sad. And that was, what, two years ago? Three years ago. Where were we? Where were we? Uh, four years ago. Holy schmoly. So she still can't walk for two minutes. Let that sink in. Oh, my God. Three years ago. Anyways, I'm going to go keep watching Grey's Anatomy. I'm actually watching it on my laptop, which I have with me. I bring my laptop everywhere because <laughs> I always have my headphones in. Oh. But yeah, don't edit on it. I don't see how she can edit on her phone. It is so hard. I'm in my mouse. Hello. Welcome to the next day. So you guys are staring at my ceiling. Are we going to get away in? <laughs> I'm explaining why. Um, so I'm allergic to cats. And I have two cats. Right. I've heard this. We are right. all the able hair. to function together as a family. I'm normally okay. I'm normally fine. Um, the cats do sleep in my bedroom with me, but I have my bedroom door open all night. So they're free to do what they want. So normally Wasabi will sleep on the foot of the bed. So will Rary or they'll sleep like on the floor next oh my to the gosh, bed. Look at their But Wasabi slept on my chest. That's so funny. The whole night. Freak. And I want to show you what happened because of that. My eye looks like this. So why is it only one? Oh man, this is scary, guys. I'm not a fan of this. This gives me kind of chills. I, I mean, I know she's saying it's an allergic reaction. Is it only one eye? Is that common? I don't know. And I, I sometimes get allergic eyes too, but um, the eye doctor like told me some good drops, like pat a day or something like that. So I try to put those in every morning. Well, massive allergic reaction. I'm hoping in a couple hours it'll lessen up. This has happened Ease up. multiple times before. I'm not coming for him. I love him so no, much. I get it. And I think he just needed mama love. Um, and I'm okay with that. I knew I was going to wake up with this. It hurts, but it'll be okay. I just need to stop itching it. Well, she should put, she should take a Benadryl, number one. Number two, she should put something on it. like. Um, you know, a, a warm cloth or something. But yeah, if she's not careful, she could also scratch like her in her cornea or something and cause all kinds of problems. Um, so I just wanted to warn you guys. Take a Benny. This is what happens when your eye itches because you're allergic to your cats. You're allergic to your children, basically. And you itch it over and over like a damn loser. It's like you'd think... I would have learned. No. No, complain about it. Don't do anything. Anyways. See, it would be so much helpful if she said, you know, I had an allergic reaction. I in the, At night, I started rubbing it, and I didn't realize, and now it looks like hell. But what I'm going to do right after I'm done filming this, I'm going to go lie down with a warm cloth, take a couple Benadryl or her allergy medicine of her choice, and I'll pick you, I'll talk to you guys later. That would have been the right thing to do. Like, 
the helpful thing, the inspiring thing. But no, she sits there and bitches about it like there's nothing she could do about it. I'm going to go. Um, I'm actually about to go to the grocery store looking like this. So. so she's going out when her eye is all like, you know, whatever. Yay me. Such a shame, such a shame. All right, you guys, it is time for a massive haul. Wow, they went grocery shopping, like, really, like, to the store. So let's get into it. First things. You know, I wonder if this is, like, filmed on a Saturday or at night. Because when does Jade have time to go to the grocery store, right? First, we needed some toilet paper. Thank so you. We need that. Yep, great. We need a thing of milk. I was just going to get a container. Get a half gallon, but they didn't have it, so I had to get the bigger one. And look, don't start giving her crap about whole milk. We still do whole milk in my house. My kids are big, like they're big. Um, I'm sure you've seen my younger son in something else, and he's humongous, but he's also a football player. There's no sense in getting low-fat milk, from what I've read. If you're going to drink milk, you might as well get the extra fat and protein and be more satiated. We got some bananas. Bananas, organic. With some lemon. A thing of lemons, because I want to have Bag lemon of water. Lemons. Some mints. For some mint lemon water. Ooh. By the Make a mojito. Yay. The way my eye is already like drastically better. It still looks kind of rough. <laughs> some raspberry. Her whole cheek is red. Look at that. Berries and the smallest cucumbers I have ever seen in my mm. actual life. They're so cute. So I got Those some rice cakes. This is probably like the healthiest version. No, rice cakes suck. They, no, don't even bother. Of a chip you can find. <laughs> It's literally just rice oh, yes. cakes. Um, it has five grams of whole grain. No, what's better? I'm really sad, but you could kind of jazz them up to bake kale. You make kale chips. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried it. It used to be all the rage back in the day, but those are actually pretty good. Seems very, very um, low calorie. I got caramel. I actually got two caramels because I have a massive sweet tooth. And then for like lunches or a snack, I got these already like pre-bagged servings because okay. I don't trust myself. Nor should you. To have like a massive bag and then take out a serving. So if I don't trust myself somewhere or if it's like a... So why did she... Well, first of all, let's get back to serving sizes. It's easier when they're the actual rice cakes because you can literally grab one. You don't have to count. Well, you have to count to one. But why did she buy both? Mm -hmm trigger that I need to work around it, figure out substitutes. So I used to use this flat out bread all the time, but I never had this one. This is a plant-based protein one. Ooh. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna give that a go. But what's For in it? One of these is only 90 calories and 10 proteins. So that's pretty great. But what so else Felina is in there? Felina likes these uh, cauliflower crust pepperoni pizza life cuisine thingies. Those are depressing. So I got three of them. Yeah, and they, they, this, that used to be lean cuisine, right? My hair. <laughs> I do want to try one, so I'm interested because she says they're, like, really good. So I'm excited to try it. Uh, personally, not a fan of cauliflower or everything. I like cauliflower, but not for – doesn't it, it's not pizza crust. You're not going to fool me. So I got some Atkins, which is good. If you're those are local my or favorite. Oh, my God. Those are my favorite because oh, – oh. I want some. I'm on low carbing now because it's a long story, but I have to go to my OB on Monday and he's so judgy. So I'm trying to drop a couple pounds, but um, I'm a peanut. Like if the world was going to end and I could only choose one more candy to eat my life, it would be peanut M&Ms. These are a very close second. Um, these remind me of M&Ms. Oh yeah. But they're not. They will taste exactly the same, carb, in my opinion. And 130 calories. Love that. Blaine needed some more coffee, so she just got some breakfast blend. And this one looks scary. Death Wish Coffee, the world's strongest coffee. There we go. Okay. She won't be sleeping for days. <laughs> I got this. Uh, it's by the brand Kind. Mm -hmm. That's some honey granola with toasted coconut. It's a good See, that triggers me because, like, if I had yogurt, I'd be, like, adding it to it galore. That I can't eat. I can't have granola in the house. Good source of fiber because I need to up my fiber. Um, get a supplement. So I figured throw this on some yogurt. I don't know. Speaking of yogurt, we had to get some. Oh, and Jordy. By the way, I forgot to mention Jordy. I watch Jordy religiously almost every morning. 
You mentioned the um, Metamucil gummies. I have those too. Um, they're a great way to supplement. They're sugar-free. I think they're 20 calories. They are a little high in carbs. I think they're five net carbs, but it's a fun, easy way to get at least, you know, if you had the maximum dose, which is three gummies, three times a day, you get um, 15. So that's like halfway there. But me personally, I only have like five, like I only have three gummies a day, so I only get five. So I got this Chobani Zero Sugar Strawberry Cheesecake. They have a zero sugar kind, mm -hmm. so they're going to try it. I, hate yogurt. I also got the Chobani. It's just regular vanilla Greek yogurt. Not my fave, but if I add some fruit and some granola, I think we'll be good. Yeah, you will. I got two of these uh, Chobani Coconut. You'll be too good. Greek yogurt. Here's the other one. And we got two of the Chobani Honey and Cream, which... That looks good. Celine picked out. She'll take one of my coconut and I'll take one of her honey and cream. <laughs> I want to start drinking just the littlest bit of coffee in the morning because oh, I, I have that it really too. does help with my appetite. Gives me a little bit of energy. Yeah. In the afternoon. I love it. So I just got some that's already made. <laughs> the it's good. blind, blind, blonde, no blonde roast. Celine said that it just has a less like strong potent yeah, coffee light. taste because I don't like coffee very much. Um, I got some garlic and herb, cream cheese. Celine got some overnight oats that she wants to try. Uh, and the brand Mush. Yeah, I've, I've actually made those. It's pretty easy to make, especially like you could do a whole bunch. For me, the trick was the chia seeds because it made it like a, like a pudding consistency. Like it helped that. But um, yeah, it's pretty easy to make. But go ahead. Try it to see if you like it first. It's probably not for everybody. Uh, bush. <laughs> One more time, take two. That's what she said. <laughs> mush oat. Ew. She got apple, cinnamon, and blueberry. So these do go in the fridge. Hey, don't yum her yuck. Or don't yuck her yum. Of course, I'd say it backwards. By the way, because they're cold. Got some broccoli. They're always <laughs> getting broccoli. What's funny? <laughs> what? We got the broccoli. We're broccoli obsessed around these parts. So expensive. Can't go wrong. I like it frozen. Some barbecue sauce. Oh, my favorite. Got some ground turkey. We already have okay. a pretty good amount of meat, so we didn't get too much. Turkey bacon. Yeah. And just some uh, chicken tenderloins. Oh. oh, I got some lunch meat. This is my favorite. It's just the rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. Didn't she say she doesn't like lunch meat? I don't know. I can't keep up. Got some cayenne pepper. We needed it. I love me a cottage cheese moment, so I got some cottage cheese. So Feline's creamer, she's going to be using oat milk creamer, sweet cream flavored. Just because it's oat milk doesn't mean it's better for you. There's still a lot of sugar in it. I just get, when I want something sweet, I have the great value vanilla flavor. Sugar free. But I'm going to be using the zero sugar caramel macchiato moment, which looks like this. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I've, I've tried that. I'm not a fan. I'm the purist. Give me vanilla. Um, uh, Fresh mozzarella pearls. Oh, delicious. Just a container of those. And then some ketchup. Okay, you guys. So I normally don't film at this time. Yay, she washed her hair, guys. Late at night, like after my shower or anything. Um, this is usually when I upload my video and I schedule it. But I realized in this video, I do not have an outro. I don't have a PO box. I don't have a voice memo. So. so I do want to talk a little bit about the voice memo segment in my video. Here we go. And then PO box. I am going to keep them because a lot of people enjoy them. I enjoy them. I love them. But obviously right. there's a portion of people who think that it's just like taking up too much of my video, which I understand. So instead of like taking it out completely, I'm, I'm just going to make it short form i'm not going to do so much long-winded um because i do want to keep it as part of my videos because it's special to me and it's fun oh, you do. so hey, i do want to this is her vlog start off with p.o box oh 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 so i do want to say that i have been opening the packages before i start filming ah so you guys don't damn have it. to see me like hassle with all that but i do not look inside okay. i do not peek so it's still authentic and um, you guys get to see my reaction. So first things first. The, the thing I sent her would not be in a big box, just to let you know. It's going to be small, little, little envelope package. Um, it's a box 
And, that says, and I thought she said no more food, huh? Empirical food. So I don't really know if there's... Imperfect? Did she just say empirical? Food in there. This might be just a box that someone reused. So let's look. Okay, so I see a letter. And a bag of stuff. I'm going to read the letter first. So this was super sweet and from Daphne, who actually has a organization that, that she does at VIPsfund.org, where the piece... Okay, guys, no offense. Let's fast forward. Okay, we have a little cute. seal. Oh my God, this that's is cute. adorable. You know what? I always call Twinkie my little seal because I feel like she looks like one. This is so cute. And then there's this cute little thing. It honestly looks like a little mushroom. Yeah. Like that is adorable. So if you go to that website, every single thing that you buy on there, 100% of the purchase is donated to wildlife conservation. That I is hope amazing. She, and thank you so much. I hope she linked it to her. You know, that would be nice. Watch Daphne. So I figured I would do one more, which I did rip it open, but I didn't really see what it was. I did see a wheel. Okay. okay. A wheel. Oh, God. Mobility Direct. Okay. So someone thinks I need a little scooter. Yes, you do. That phobia at its finest. After such a sweet. That was not me. So that was not me. I sent her something she could actually enjoy, something that I enjoy, but I think relates to her situation thing you know it makes the world go round oh, a little bit of bad a little bit of good that's mean don't do Yikes that guys. but yet she still invites the trolls okay so the next thing we're gonna do a voice memo because i like being interviewed by you hi queen i love you and i wanted to ask are you a jealous person and how do you deal with jealousy in relationships? Okay, first of all, everybody's jealous. Come on, people. Thank you so much for the question. Oh. Um, so jealousy in relationships, yes, I am a jealous person and I it in an actually what I think that the uh the question questioner might be asking is more related to the whole argument two years ago about, are they poly? I think it's because I'm not a confident person. A lot of people seem to think that I'm confident, but I promise that is not the case. She's not. I guess it just- She's not. She's holding on to Jade with everything she's got because it. she thinks if Jade's gone, she's going to have nobody. It comes off that way because I do YouTube, but how I deal with it is like, I try my hardest to trust the person that I am with and be confident in our relationship. I don't have to be confident about myself, but I want to be confident in the person that I'm with and trust that they wouldn't do anything to hurt me. So I know that's easier said than done, but I, I try my best to do that. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So on that vein, um, she tries to, she just said, let me rerun, rewind this a second. Be confident in the person that I'm with and trust that they wouldn't do anything to hurt me. So yeah, the trust that she, they wouldn't do anything to hurt her. So I had a shower thought <laughs> like a week ago, whenever it is I sent that gift. Uh, in the shower, I was thinking about randomly Stephen King, right? Does anybody remember this movie from the um, 90s or read the book, which I would never read that book. It'd be too much for me. So I love Stephen King, uh, kind of, or I did when I was younger. Like, uh, you know, like The Shining is one of my favorites. Um, I read that when I was 18 years old on a plane trip to Italy with school because I couldn't sleep. So I read The Whole Shining, okay? And it was, it messed me up, but it was an awesome book. And the movie is even better. Kubrick's just nailed it. I guess Stephen King didn't like it very much. I don't care. Stephen King's kind of like whatever. My husband's from Maine and they actually don't have the greatest opinion of Stephen King, but that's okay. Um, but anyways, so this other movie that I'm thinking about has Kathy Bates in it. Um, I'm not going to mention the title right now, but it has Kathy Bates and she basically like moves in as a nurse, um, to somebody she, like a writer that she was a fan of 
and, you know, proceeds to torture. And I can't remember if she kills him or not, but it's a pretty messed up movie. And it totally changed the way I think about Kathy Bates, especially because, you know, the Kathy Bates from this movie, and she was in a couple other Stephen Kings. And then you see the Kathy Bates from Waterboy, which is Waterboy is hands down my favorite movie of Adam Sandler. Um, I, I have a football family anyways. So, but anyways, I feel like potentially not to the extent of, you know, Jade is going to break her ankles or anything, but I feel like potentially that she may be close to that type of relationship if you know what I mean. So only time will tell, but you know, I can't imagine why Jade is there in the other, like, why is Jade there? So she's in her mid twenties. She doesn't want to go anywhere. Like, I don't know. Like when, when I was in my mid twenties, when I was newly married, my husband and I would just like take off and go places before kids. So we would, you know, take off and go to the Keys. Um, and then it was funny because I remember us having to put all our change together for the tolls, the 90s. So I can't believe that they don't want to like, you know, drive around places. I mean, I guess Amber can't, but maybe that was the idea around the hub around, you know, I'm not sure. Only time will tell. All right. So what did y'all think otherwise? Anybody have any comments about my little theory about her and Jade, which I'm not trying to be mean. It's just a theory that clicked into my head the other day, last week. So um, the other thing, I just don't, I don't know. I That whole eye thing kind of scared me. Not going to lie. Um, no, it didn't turn into a black and blue mark, but I don't know. For some reason, it just made my spidey senses tingle. You know, I'm not saying that Jade's doing anything bad to her, but, you know, like she is the prime target for unfortunate bad things to happen because I believe her when she says she doesn't have confidence. And then her other problem is she can't, she can't be alone, like not even for a minute. So she might be able to like make sort of concessions just to keep somebody there. I mean, I hope I'm wrong, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyways, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me go on and on and on. I appreciate all your comments, subscriptions, likes. I hope y'all have a great weekend and I'll probably see you Sunday. Bye.